Hello everybody, welcome back to today's video. Today we are checking out how you can go ahead and make like a developer join message. Um, what this does is it's going to allow the developer to receive a message on join if the plug if the server is using their plugin. So why don't we get into this? We're going to go into our events class and we're just going to put it into this events class. We're not going to make it something different. It's not needed. So we're going to create an event handler just like we normally do. And then we're going to do public void. You can name it what you want. In my case, I'm going to name it on dev. dev join so I'm gonna name it on dev join on capitalized dev join it's gonna be a player join event and we'll define that it's e is the event then the first thing we got to do is get the player name so player p equals uh, e dot get player the next line we're gonna put in is um, let's say if the player dot get name dot equals now this is where you're going to put your username so in my case it's going to be noodles underscore yt we're going to do something now what we're going to do is we're going to send a message so we're going to do p send message jack color dot green we'll do green for this one and we're going to say this server is using the tutorial one plugin and before we do this we'll do just p send message jack color dot red and say like VGHD dev debug message or something like that. Just go along with that. And then we can send a message saying chat color dot I don't know. We'll go we'll go green again. And we'll say feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel. I didn't spell that right. There we go. Um, so pretty much what this is saying is anytime a player with the username NoodlesYT joins the server, it's going to send this message. It's going to say dev debug message. This server is using the tutorial one plugin. Feel free to subscribe. I don't know why I put the second line. It's really not needed, so I'm just going to delete it. But we'll just keep it at that. That's all you have to do. Then all you have to do, again, is I recommend changing your version number in your pom.xml file. Build the plugin. Or rebuild it whatever you like to do then you're gonna drag your tutorial jar into your plugin folder and start up your server then you're gonna open up minecraft and once the server has started you are going to join your server and we can test it out now I'm on my noodles YT account which means when I join I should get a message in chat this server uh, debug message this server is using the tutorial one plugin so it does exactly what we told it to do inside of our events class now let's do this why don't we make it so it spaces out a little bit more so we're gonna send a message and this one's just gonna be a blank uh, space and we're gonna put that at the, bef the before and after of this message so we have a little bit more space when we join outside of our uh, join effects here so we'll go ahead and re-upload this into our plugins folder um, in this case we don't have anything game breaking so we'll just go ahead and reload the server and when I rejoin the server now you can see there's a space in between here so it does exactly what we want to do it creates a correct message it's easy to use you can put this in any of your plugins do not use this for like force op reasons or your resource will be removed so don't put like if my name is noodles op myself don't do that because that would get your resource removed and you banned from spigot so try to avoid doing that um, it's quite simple to add I use it in some of my plugins just to tell what version um, the plugins using so in my case on light bands GUI it tells when I join it tells me what version the servers using and what version um, is the newest version on Spigot? So it checks for the update as long as well as getting the newest version on the server. If you have any questions on this code, please let us know by going to the comments and either going to the comments in the description or um, joining the Discord, which is linked in the description, is what I meant to say. We have our own code help channel, so we can help you out. If you have any questions on how to use this code or if you want to download any of our plugins, the links are in the description as well. If you want to download our mobile app, it's available on iOS and Android and you get special codes where you get percentages off or free copies of our plugin on MC Market. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I will see you all tomorrow. Goodbye.